Hello, welcome to Take a Step to a Better You. It's snow day, Virginia, USA. But this was actually not, it's not snowy right now. It stopped yesterday. And if you follow the international news, you'd have heard about snow in America. This, is, this was bad. So, it's Virginia, USA. For those of you who watch me drive, normally I pass by here driving with no issues, but now you see there's snow. And I came out to record this for you to show you what it could look like with snow on the road. They've tried to remove some, but you see, they still, and it's becoming ice. So I have to be careful. When it becomes ice, it becomes very slippery. Though my car is four wheel but still see someone is even passing someone who thinks their their car is better or somehow see they pass me look but yeah uh, because i'm also speaking i have to be extra careful look so it could become very slippery right here when the temperatures go down so the trucks have removed some you see where it's clear trucks came and moved some they put some salt but still bad. But now we can at least drive. We've been inside for two days. We couldn't come out. But you know what happened? What I didn't like about the snow, it took our internet. Normally when you lose, we lose Wi-Fi in the house, you would at least have uh, like internet on the phones. But even these the networks were not working. I don't know what happened. So we, we couldn't even follow the news <laughs> because my TV is actually, uh, it works on the internet, so we didn't have internet, so and we didn't have the phones working, so we didn't know what was going on. But afterwards, we heard what happened. People suffered, people were on the road. That I uh, You see me drive on the highway, I-95. Sometimes I drive going north or south. It was crazy. What happened, that there were some trucks who had accidents ahead and the snow was as the snow was happening so cars could not move so they were blocked and you know what ended up happening people stayed on the road on the roads without cars moving for some for 20 hours others more i could imagine that remember it's very cold outside so if you had heat on in your car people were worried about the gas, like gas or petrol, finishing because it was a long time keeping the car going. So they will cut off and put on. You know, always when they talk about emergency situation, they say keep some blankets in your car. You never know. Keep something to eat. People didn't have water, didn't have food. Can you imagine 20 hours? I was thinking about what did they know if they wanted to pee or something? People have stories, I'm telling you. And one senator, Virginia senator, was one of those people. So I just said, thank God, we were at least all, all we missed was the internet and the power was on. Because if electricity goes in those kind of times, you have a new problem. There's no heat. So you, you are feeling very, very cold. But at least when you're at home, you can still cover yourself in blankets. I cannot imagine those people, they suffered. And some had children. So, but let me share with you what happened over 10 years ago. They warned us about a wind a storm. You know, when I first came here, we used to have more, more snow than now. They say global warming. Like snow would come like between starting November, by December, January, Feb. Feb used to be the toughest month. So one Feb month, they warned us that this snowstorm is coming. Be careful. Make sure you have food. Make sure you have all this. So we prepared, but we didn't know what was actually going to happen. We spent seven days in house in homes, seven days. Snow was coming non-stop. By the time it ended, <laughs> everything was covered with snow. The, our cars parked were all full of snow. You couldn't see that that's a car. You couldn't see that there is something covered right there. It was a lot of snow. So, but then we didn't feel it that much because 
we had bought enough food. They were uh, asking us to buy food that could last like a long time, uh, like canned food, stuff like that. So we really didn't feel it, only we were shocked what we were seeing happening outside. Snow kept coming and coming and coming. Wow. So that was many years ago. So as years kept coming, I mean, the years passed, it kept having less and less snow. Sometimes no snow almost at all for a whole season. But this one, ha, it reminded, uh, reminded us of those times, the snow times. It's not fun, actually. You may think it's fun. It's not. Some people like, uh, like to play, but mm -mm. The, if you talk to those people who are stuck on the roads, by the way, hear my voice is different. Since I read that cash flow quadrant book <laughs> and uh, my voice changed, it has never come back to normal. So it's me still, and those of you who don't know me, I'm Sherifa Nakalima. And by the way, ahead of me, this this truck you see there, that's a post office. The post office, that's how they deliver mail. Let me tell you about the post office first before I say myself, because it's, it could go. This post office truck, you know, in America we drive, we keep left. Like as a, we, keep, we keep right when we're driving, so the steering wheel is on the left-hand side. Are you, are, you, I'm seated on the left-hand side of the car. But you see that truck ahead of me? They call them truck. It delivers mail in the post office. It's the only one that the steering wheel is on the right. And the reason they design them like that, as they deliver mail, they put mail, they don't have to leave their car. They are driving and putting mail and keep going. So it's a different kind of training to drive. They drive on the opposite side, like they're, I don't know how they do it. It's like being in a country that, where they keep left and you are driving a, uh, a car that has the steering on the right. So this is what's happening. That truck is going down to the post office now. Okay, I'm telling you about me. I'm Sharifa Nakalema here in Virginia, USA. Mm -hmm. And normally I talk about business. This is crazy, by the way. I have to be careful. See how they are passing? They don't even mind that we are under no, not normal circumstances. They are passing really quickly. So I'm going to get off, I think this, let me see if I can pass by here. Then I can show you a little bit more snow in this. Hopefully I won't get stuck. I'm getting off this main road. So you can see more snow here. I'm very passionate about business especially this year if you want to start your own business online check out my other videos today i'm just driving around but normally i talk about animal online business tips motivation i have rich dad poor dad book cash flow quadrant by robert kiyosaki please check them out uh, okay I decided to come here at the shopping center to show you a little bit of more snow. But now they've moved it. They moved it. It's not. It will melt slowly, slowly. As the temperatures go down, it melts slowly. And soon it will be gone. It becomes water just, water flowing. Okay. Maybe one other time, I'll, if it comes again, I may decide to drive in the snow. Driving in the snow is a different experience because it's like coming down and you're going. But what they do, they have trucks. Like they come with salt. They keep putting salt on the road. So uh, the main roads, cars keep coming. Except with that issue where they had to you see that experience, people were driving, they got stuck. But otherwise, you could keep going if you have a good car, all wheel or four wheel. Okay. I'm going to suck around here and so show you a little bit of more snow. And I think I won't make it too long. I'll stop. You get an idea, right? That's snow. But that's what's left of snow after they moved it around. Otherwise, all these areas would be covered. Would be covered. So I'm going to go around this building and I think I'll end it.
I'll end it. And I also promised to record a video showing you lights. People are about to remove the lights. In December, they decorate homes. I'll see if I can find somewhere to, to show you those lights. I've not been able to do it. You know, it's, it's like, and it's dark, like around five. So I wasn't feeling like going out, but uh, I'll do it soon. After this video, now you see, I, go, I wanted to show you, so now, now I'm getting stuck over here. I was turning around. Maybe they know each other or something. See, those are piles of snow. What's the problem? I want to enter inside. The, there's no, we don't have staff inside. Everybody's working the drive through There's no one inside. Yeah, we don't have tellers. We don't have nobody. How about tomorrow? So I hope people come to work tomorrow. It's been like this two days now. Are you sure? I'm positive. Very well, Fargo. Very well, Fargo. Are you using the drive through you going around? I want to do a very important transaction, but I need that someone to sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe tomorrow, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. See? No, that's not cool. Uh, let me just drive around here. Okay. This one is not moving, I don't understand. Oh, someone on the phone? Uh, let me see. You know what? Let me drive a little more. I could pass by the post office and see. I felt I thought I was gonna end it, but I decided to drive a little more. I could get my mail from the post office. No, after it, the snow goes, it's not as fun. It's more fun when it's coming down. <laughs> but now, it's like food you see the following day. You want to see it fresh. But this was not fun. People got stuck. It's good I didn't try to, to record during. I recorded a shot. You see a shot on my channel? When it was still falling, I have a little shot, 15 seconds. I did from my window. I recorded from my window because outside I couldn't go. Okay. It was risky business. I hope there is parking at the post office. You know, they have to clear to get somewhere to park a car. They normally clear the main roads first.
You know some people boast of parts. You see that one? They don't even care that this road could be slippery. You have to be careful when you when there's been snow. Because you never know. It could just turn. You think you're driving normally. It changes on you. You have to go feel it slowly, slowly. It's like when you're walking. See these people who move snow? They may miss just a little piece of piece like this. And it's still on the road. If you're walking and it became ice, could very easily fall. So you have to be careful where you step. But you see, some people don't care. They don't. Okay, let me see if I can find parking at the post office. That's where I'll, I'll end it. So, do you think this is a good experience? <laughs> a snow experience? Not for those people who are stuck for 20 hours. And there are many, many, many on I-95 going north and south. Uh, it's around like close to Washington, D.C. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to park here and I'm ending this video. What do you think of this? And please check out my other videos. Like I always end them, I say take very good care of yourself. Take very good care of your families. Take very good care of your health. Take yourself to a better you. Bye.